Hey guys, it's Tiff, and I have kind of an impromptu video for you. I just basically wanted to show you what extras I had left over from last month's kit, which was the planetarium kit. Um, so, I don't remember which one of these came this month in the kit, but one of them did, and the other one came last month in either the kit or the Project Life kit, but my plan is to use both of them in the Project Life I just don't see myself having such a heavy embellishment on my scrapbook layout. Although I'm going to leave them in my kit box to see if I will use them this month. Because the papers are more appropriate and heavier this month. So I would see myself using them with a heavier paper if I am going to use them on a scrapbook layout. I also did not use my wood veneer. Um, which is surprising to me because I have a very... If not the same alphabet, I have a very similar one. Um, but some of my letters are broken here, which disappoints me. I pointed that out when I got my kit, I think. But anyways, I'm about to do some layouts that I think I may use these on. So um, these will get used. I don't feel like that is an issue. Um... Also, I did not use any of these hipster um, strips. I actually am not big on this hipster collection. I know a lot of people have been hauling it lately. So last time I went to Archivers, I looked at the collection and I was like, I just don't get it. And I think part of the reason is I don't have like a lot of um, photos that are um, older in style. It's kind of like the vintage products. Um, I don't. I just don't have a lot of use for them unless I use them for altering. And this, to me, is not something that I would use for altering. But I'm going to keep them around for a little bit and see if I can incorporate them. If not, you'll probably see them in a upcoming giveaway or something. Um, these basic great alphas, to me, I will put them in my Project Life stuff because they are just entirely too small. Um for my scrapbook layouts, I think. Um, I don't use a whole lot of small alphas um, in my scrapbooking, so. Anyways, on to the paper. I think I did really good for the papers this month. This is all I have left of the basic gray paper, which this was the side intended for the kit, but I only used it for this side. I just found that pops of red with this kit really worked out well. Um, so I really liked that. And that was the main bright color I brought into um, my layouts this month. Um, this is all I have left of the Lucky Charm paper. Um, that was called Falling Star. And it says, you're my lucky star. And that's because I used it for a background of a layout. But I'm going to keep that strip. Um, and then this one, I can't remember. I think I must have. Yeah, I used all of that paper as well. And it was the one um, that had the, it's called Wild Hearts, and it had this stripe pattern on the back. And on the front, it has um, the yellow with um, kind of script-looking hearts. But I love this border, so I'm going to keep it as well. Just says, love you more. The Amy Tan Yes Please paper, I was surprised at this because I love her line. Um, I just used one square. I just had a hard time incorporating it um, with this kit, but this will get used, if nothing else, for Project Life cards. Um, you see, you can turn most of them this way. Well, some of them anyways. But anyways, um, I have new styles, too, that go this way. And also, um, I have a lot of her collection left to use, so... I'm sure it will get used. And then I still have this gradient paper, which I really like. Um, I just am having trouble figuring out how to use it. Because I like the gradient effect of it. I like the dots. But I, I think it's too busy to use as a background paper. So, and I, um... You know, this print at first I did not like, but it's starting to grow on me. So I'm wondering if I might actually use that for an upcoming layout. Um, just as an accent piece. I would never use it as a background. But um, anyways, that is what I have. Oh, and two pieces of cardstock. This orange peel white 
I don't like to use for backgrounds. So I use it for a photo mat. And I'm sure I'll use the rest for the same. And then I have this pink cardstock left. And then for the add-on kit, I have um, this grid paper. I actually used um, some of the other side, and I used the grid paper. So this is all I have left of that. And then this paper with the hexagons, it was intended for this side for the add-on, which is the side I used it for. I have quite a good amount of that left. That's from the 24-7 Simple Stories. And then this is from the Atlantic Collection, and I used about the same amount of that one. I'm sure that will get used. And then this, um, in, unless I incorporate it in my travel album, I don't see myself using this one. But well, the jury's still out. So, but, uh, it's definitely an interesting paper. It's just, um, it's so busy, right? Maybe if I put some gesso on it. That's what I've seen a lot of people doing. But those are my leftovers for last month. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.